The gaseous hypothesis of Kant, explaining an outdated theory for the origin of the solar system. Theories for the origin of the solar system have been proposed for centuries, with each new theory building upon previous ideas. In the 18th century, the German philosopher Immanuel Kant proposed the gaseous hypothesis, which was one of the earliest attempts to explain how the solar system might have formed. Kant's gaseous hypothesis proposed that the solar system formed from a large, rotating cloud of gas that gradually condensed under the influence of gravity. As the cloud contracted, it flattened into a disk, and the planets formed from condensations within this disk. Kant believed that the planets formed in order of their distances from the Sun, with the most distant planets forming first. He also proposed that the Sun and the planets were formed at the same time. While Kant's gaseous hypothesis was groundbreaking in its time, it was later superseded by the nebular hypothesis proposed by Pierre-Simon Laplace. Laplace's hypothesis refined and improved upon Kant's ideas, proposing that the solar system formed from a rotating, flattened disk of gas and dust that eventually collapsed under gravity to form the Sun and the planets. Although Kant's gaseous hypothesis is no longer accepted as a valid theory for the origin of the solar system, it was an important stepping stone in the development of our understanding of the universe. By proposing new ideas and stimulating debate, Kant and other early thinkers paved the way for later scientific discoveries and theories. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video informative, please like and share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content.